What's up, YouTube? It's Nate with Geo Aquariums, and today I'm talking about breeding breast nose plecos. Come along. Crazy mother. What's up, YouTube? There's Odin. So today I want to talk to you guys about breeding breast nose plecos. So this is the bare bottom 20 high. I'm fixing it up to do something with it special, and I decided that. I might as well set up a Bristol's Pleco breeding tank. So right there you can see the male. So I guess step one would be to make sure you get a male and a female. A sexually mature male as you can see he got the big tentacles on his nose. There's a good shot of him. Versus the female which is now on the back glass does not. So that's a really good comparison right there so you can see the male on the left, female on the right. And as far as the ratio goes and lots of things you want a trio two females, one male. When it comes to plecos, it's actually better to have two males, as you can see, and one female. And that's just simply because when the ancestress in particular, the males will take care, okay, bye Odin. The males will take care of the eggs. So the female will come in lay the eggs and then the male will raise them to maturity so when you get a female really really putting out eggs especially a big female like that you can actually starve your males and and put your males at risk so it's just far better to use two males to one female and breed them that way so as far as the tank I want to take you along with what I do so we have a bear 20 high here and honestly tank size doesn't really matter if you like it does obviously for water quality but I've accidentally bred this exact these exact fish one male one female and a 10 gallon in 66 degrees not even kidding you and it worked like I have them everywhere like here's one of the babies there's two more right there like these things are just crazy. It's harder to get them to stop than it is to get them going, honestly. So yeah, two males, one female would be your best bet. And the bigger the tank, the better. If you're gonna be pulling babies, you could pull it away, pull it off in a 10 gallon. Just make sure you're doing your water changes. But they're really cool fish. I love the males. As you can see, the big tentacles there, they're freaking awesome. Alright, let's set up this tank. Alright, so when it comes to setting up a tank, I like to use rock. And what I try to do is I try to cross it like that so you get these pockets underneath. And they tend to really like laying up here in the corners where the rocks meet. So I'll use just a whole bunch of big flat rocks, as you can see right there and then just crisscross them like that in the bottom of the tank and it tends to do me pretty good so let's do one at each end so that way the males have two different hidey holes so they will get aggressive they will fight each other you'll see them side by side button into each other so it's better just to try to keep them separated All right, so the key elements now. I set up a tank up here in the front, which we got one male in there right now, as you can see, he's taking a liking to it. There's another little cave off here to the right. I put it in the coconut cave, just in case. I'm not really sure, we'll see, it'll be an experiment. Got the female right there, and then the other male is sitting back here in this pile of rocks that I got set up also. So we can look in there. The reasoning for setting these up so they're all facing me, I like to be able to see in there. I like to be able to see if males are sitting on anything without having to be too invasive. And then also having them all face in the same direction. It keeps the males from looking at each other. So if the holes were pointed towards each other, they'd be able to see each other and it, 
there's a possibility for aggression there. So having them all sit facing the same way, it's hopefully going to mitigate a little bit of that aggression, keep them from looking at each other, but then also make it much easier for me to look in there and see how things are going. So I'll keep you guys updated with this tank as we move forward, and then there will be a video coming out on this now empty tank here soon. So y'all stay tuned. Thank you for watching, and I'll catch y'all next time. Take care.